Our guest is one of the most controversial men in American public life today. The distinguished governor of the state of Georgia, Lester Maddox, not always friendly Time magazine, refers to the governor as, and we quote, a teetotaling, non-smoking, hard-shelled Baptist. And I don't suppose you find any of that very insulting, do you? No, sir. I, every bit of it is true. Governor Maddox, they tell me that uh, since the time when you made your famous last stand at the Pickrick restaurant with the axe handles for sale for $2 for uh, whatever purpose, uh, that you have mellowed quite a bit. That perhaps your stand is no longer as, uh, quite as parochial or quite as strong as it, uh, as it was then when you were saying that uh, the American federal government had uh, literally killed private enterprise. Joe, I'm uh, mellowed to this extent. I'm four years older. Well, and you're, that's, that's you're about, a different person, that's a, too, aren't you? No, sir, I'm no different from that day. No, sir, I was uh, for, at that time protecting uh, my oh. opinion. Well, I began my broadcasting career in the South, Governor, and I lived down there as a, as a resident in the South, in North Carolina, in Lumberton, North Carolina. First radio station I was ever on was WTSB, and that stood for where tobacco sells best. And the one thing I'll never forget, the impression it made on me, there was a motion picture theater there. And it had three entrances to it. And it had three seating arrangements. Because right near that theater, well, within a few miles of it, was an Indian reservation. And the Indians had to go in one door and sit in one place. The black people had to go in another door and sit in another place. And the white people went into another door. Now, the white people got the best seats. The black people got the next best seats. And the Indians, who deserved the best seats, were way up in the peanut gallery. And I never forgot that. It really struck me. It seemed to me to be uh, uh, so so peculiar, so out of tune with everything that I understood to be right and fair and so forth. And then what, what I, did you do to correct it, Joe? Yeah. Well, I got on the radio and I talked about it. What, what did you do to correct it besides talking about it? Well, I thought that was doing pretty good considering where I was. Did yes. you? No, I, w I wouldn't say so. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things going on in the country all the time. You can't blame me with something for someone, no, sure. somebody I'm, on a theater, I'm can not, you? I'm not blaming you, but I'm just saying that the people... That, look what I saw down here on the street a while ago in the way of hippies. Yeah. Yes, sir. And I'm not going to blame you for that. You know those hippies that are down there? Yes, sir. They didn't come from Georgia. No, they checked in late this afternoon. They heard you were coming, and they're here in protest. <laughs> <laughs> what about the road work, sir? We still have some of it, yes, sir. Are they chained? No, sir. They're not chained. No, sir. So they can be called road no, gangs, sir. Don't you think people gangs. ought to work? Yes, I do. Yes, sir. I do. Well, well, well you're with me then. I've seen people, uh, and, but, and, I, and, and but it, I don't know whether you they give ought to work. If you I don't, don't know whether they ought to work with big stripes around them so that everybody can ride by in the car and look at them like they're some kind of an animal. Well, why are you saying that when nothing like that exists in Georgia? Well, I've seen it. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. that happens in Georgia? It used to. Well, it used to, a lot of things happen where mm -hmm. you're at, too, didn't he? You've changed, haven't well, you? Well, I never ran a chain gang. your country changed? What has that got to do with anything? Well, That's a real non sequitur, huh? Well, just as much as you going back a while ago and saying that... Well, that, see, that a lot of people don't know that... That's that what I'm like... asking you. I'm asking you to tell us, because the last time I went uh, into Georgia was many years ago. Well, you're suggesting to people <clears> all over the United States, though, that people wear chains in Georgia and that they wear striped suits. They used to. Well, you know better. They don't do that. When now. did they stop? And you're trying to picture that picture about no, the people... No, well, I want to ask you, when did they stop? Many years ago. Well, how many years ago? Back in the uh, 30s. 30 what? In the 1930s. When was the last man that, that wrote that book, I was a fugitive from, a, or I'm a fugitive from a Georgia chain gang? Now, wasn't that in the... Uh, it's been a long time ago before the hippies started writing some of this trash on the streets out here. Well, I, don't get me wrong. Now, you're being very defensive. And I'm not trying to hold you responsible for what, for what preceded you. But there are a lot of people... Uh, that know of your state you, only you because they all, saw Paul. Now you're interrupting me. Why do you bring me. all now these you're things up me. then? Well, I'm going to keep doing it as long as you keep well, bringing these if, things up. If you want to interrupt me, then you're going to get interrupted, see? <laughs> oh, then we're right. going to have two interrupters sitting here and we won't get anything done. <laughs> well, you know, I could get up and walk off. Well, you won't be the first. Yes, sir. Well, well, I'll do it right now. Good luck to you, Joe. Happy everything, Governor. Party hard, hard. Party hard, hard. We'll be back after these words.